Hello world and welcome back. So today we're talking about the new firmware update for the DJI Maverick 3 series. Last week DJI introduced a firmware update that apart from adding support in EU for C1 certification, it introduced a new video mode called Night Mode. And what does Night Mode do? Well, it adds support for ISO from 800 to 12,800 and it adds an in-camera noise reduction to the footage. So basically when you record in night mode, the footage is ready to upload to social media. Now the downside, apart from doing noise reduction in camera, which will never be as good as a dedicated computer or software program, is that it only shoots in 30 frames per second. But how does night mode stand up against HLG and H.265 and ProRes? Well, I did a lot of testing and recorded a lot of different flavors of the codecs and I compared everything in DaVinci Resolve and I think you're going to find the result a little surprising. But let's jump on over to DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so what I did is I went out on the same location and did a lot of test shots in different codecs with different flavors of color, space and gamma. And um, if you take a look here, you can see I have a lot of shots here from if we go to the metadata over here, you can see I have H.265, this is an HLG, I have H.265 in normal mode and auto mode, I obviously have night mode, uh, I have some ProS422 HQ in D-Log and HLG and ProS422 HQ in normal mode. So if I go to the edit page here, what I did here is I made some timelines with the different codecs and I did some color correction and some grading and to the codecs and figured out which ones were the best of each. Uh, here is for the ProRes and here is for the HLGs and then I have a night mode here for comparison. And then I took the best codecs and I put them on a timeline together. What I did with the grade here is if you go to the color page here, so this is the night mode uh, version and the only thing I did here is I added a little bit of sharpening 0 0.47 so what I find, found out with night mode is that it tends to uh, over um, expose the highlights so you'll benefit a bit from decreasing the exposure value so I took it down by 0 0.3 um, and that's shot at ISO 1600 then I have an HLG in auto. This is at 1 30th of a, sh a shutter speed and aperture of 2.8. And this is the 422HQ shot in normal mode. If you want to see or compare this, you really have to zoom in a lot. And for me to render it out and upload to YouTube for you to see, it's going to be a little difficult for you to see. Uh, but I'm going to do my best to explain it and show you what I see here in the image. So now I'm zoomed at 300% and I was focusing a bit on the lamps, how much details were lost in the highlights and how plastic it, plasticky it looked and also how much of the details in the tiles here I could preserve. I tried to uh, compare a bit the uh, built-in noise reduction in DaVinci Resolve. In the studio version you get a noise reduction plugin and that plugin is wor worth the $295 itself, I think. It's, it's really, really good. Um, but I also have the NEAT uh, noise reduction OFX plugin. It's a bit expensive. It's very taxing on the computer. It takes at least twice as long to render out the noise reduction in NEAT than it does with the built-in one. But uh, after spending a lot of time on it, I can, I can see that it removes a bit more noise and it still keeps a bit more of the detail. So the overall result of using NEAT is a little bit better, um, but it is taxing, it is expensive, and um, you do have to tweak a little bit. So it's probably not for everyone. You can go to needvideo.com and you can read all about it and you can try it out yourself. Uh, and apart from doing the noise reduction, I did some exposure. Let me go back to full screen here exposure and contrast uh, compensation. I tweaked the balance and the saturation and I added the same bit of sharpening as I did to the night mode shots. So if you take a look at these three shots, 
they're very similar overall. Uh, but to find out which ones are the best, if you zoom in to 300% here, and let me go down again here to the lamps and the tiles. What you're looking at here is the ProRes 422 HQ shot in normal mode, ISO of 1600. And if you take a look at the lamp here, you take a look at the sign here, it says Opera. And if you take a look at the noise and the details in the tiles here, then I switch over to the HLG. Look here, you got more details in the sign here. The lamps doesn't get blown out or all plasticky and you get a lot more details and less noise here in the shadows compared to, to the uh, to the ProRes 422. And if you then go to the night mode shot, you see you have you have a lot more noise actually here. Even though it adds a lot of noise reduction, it's not really that good because look at all the noise you have in this area compared to the regular mode. And this is a little bit soft, but uh, if you add a little bit of sharpening, you can you can actually tweak it, tweak it very close to the um, the best the night mode can do. And if you look at the sign up here, the details here, this is in the night mode, and this is an HLG auto. This is much better. There's much less noise in the HLG just set to auto. You do need to do some noise correction and you do need to do some manual color correction. But overall, in my mind, there's no doubt, get a much better result if you shoot night shots at HLG in auto. ISO 1600 and shutter speed, maybe turn it down, get a little more light in, maybe use 1/30th of a second if you can get away with that. Aperture of f2.8 and then tweak it a little bit. By doing that, you get away from being locked into the 30 frames per second in night mode, which is kind of crazy. I don't know why they chose 30. Uh, it's not that common of a, a frame rate. And uh, if you select 24, you will get more light in. So you get out of night mode, shoot an HLG, set it to auto mode. That's my recommendation. So I hope you like this quick short comparison of the different modes. If you did, please consider subscribing, maybe show us some love, hit that like button, and we'll be back soon with more videos. Have a great day.